Hi there, I'm back with a new video. I bet most of you love the House of the Dragon and the lore about Westeros. After the last season of Game of Thrones that disappointed me, this series reminded me why I love the world that R.R. Martin made. Well, I got some good news today. HBO is making a new spin-off series based on Aegon's Conquest. This will be a prequel series of House of the Dragon and it will be telling the story on how the Targaryens conquered Westeros. If this series is gonna have the same quality that House of the Dragon has, it's gonna be epic. They have recruited a writer from Batman 2 and Berserker that has been penned together with Keanu Reeves. That comic book was freaking awesome and I highly recommend it. When I first saw the news, I said to myself, HBO finally realized that this would be a spectacle and it would satisfy the fans. The news is coming from Hollywood Reporter as an exclusive, so let's check out the article. Game of Thrones Aegon's Conquest spin-off in the works from Batman Part 2 writer. There's another Thrones project in development, this time from writer Matson Tomlin. Yes, yes, sign me up for another series in the blood-soaked land of Westeros, filled with dragons, of course. HBO is developing another Game of Thrones spin-off series. The company is actively heating up its long-in-discussion Aegon's Quest idea. As I can see, after the WGA strike, there was many delays from the studios on TV series and movies. So after the strike, they want to release as fast as they can content, and this is the reason why they're fast-tracking this series. How are they going to achieve this? By having one writer for the series, Matson Tomlin. Because normally these big productions have a whole team of writers. And they always end up being crap. Because you have too many ideas running around. And that's why we see so many delays. HBO is partnering with Matson Tomlin, an in-demand scribe who did uncredited work on Matt Reeves the Batman and is co-writing its upcoming sequel the Batman Part 2. He also wrote the Keanu Reeves action comic adaptation Berserker, an animated Terminator series which is, is also show running for Netflix. To be honest, I haven't seen the animated Terminator series, but those Berserker comics I have, have read every single one of them, and they're awesome. While he has done work on both Batman movies, and I think the writer can deliver. Aegon's Conquest is basically a direct prequel to the hit Outus of the Dragon, telling the story of the Targaryens' bloody and brutal conquest of Westeros. The story follows the invader Aegon Targaryen, who conquered the continent of Westeros with his sister wives Rhaenerys and Visenna, and their dragons, of course. Aegon successfully unified the six of the seven kingdoms in just two years, with only Dorne able to successfully resist. This smells like we're getting loads of dragon action and large-scale battles to show us how the Targaryens conquer all the six kingdoms of Westeros. But not Dorne, of course. One source described the project as taking a back-to-the-basics approach to George R. R. Martin's epic fantasy universe, though considering the first series was a sprawling complex, it was unclear what ba Back to Basics means exactly in the throne context. Variety previously reported Aegon's Conquest as an idea in discussion early last year. Since Thrones concluded in 2019, there have been many prequels put into development and some considered to be no longer active though HBO prefers not to say any options is completely off the table as there's always a chance a, a once promising idea could be redeveloped under a different writer. And honestly, that's the right way to go. You don't want to scrap totally an idea until you get the perfect writer to envision it. The efforts have spawned two greenlit shows, House of the Dragon, which launches its second season this summer, and A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight, 
which starts production this year and it's based on Martin's Dark and Egg novellas. House of the Dragon is such a great series, it's a pity we can't be treated with more series in this quality. As for Matt Smith, he's such an underrated actor. And finally with this series, he got his chance to shine. He deserves to be in more high quality production. Honestly, I'm counting the days till this new series will be released. I am happy that HBO realized that they need to make more content on the Game of Thrones universe. But sadly, the Jon Snow sequel series still hasn't got the green light yet. But at least we're getting this one, and that's a win in my book. So what do you think about this upcoming spin-off series? Write it down on the comments section below. And don't forget, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a good one.